introduced to chronic when I was a beginner. Smoke 365 January to December. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tubla Marley. This is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my... What is this? What about afternoon splits on today? We're going to be jumping in to the uh, cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory, we're going to be looking at the city of Atlanta. Was the lost city of Atlanta really a marijuana-based society? All right, so let's just throw this out there. I already regret it. But what if, just what if Atlantis, the mythical city of technological marvels, was a society built on marijuana? I know this sounds ridiculous, but doesn't everything sound ridiculous at first? Like who really thought mixing chocolate and peanut butter would work? Yet yeah, it does. So could it be possible? Or I'm completely losing the plot here. Honestly, I'm not even sure anymore. But let's wander down this rabbit hole together and see where we end up. First things first, Atlantis was supposed to be this hyper advanced society right advanced technology incredible infrastructure yada yada so what if and bear with me the secret sauce behind their success wasn't crystal energy or whatever people usually talk about but what if it was cannabis i mean it's a plant with a thousand uses we know hemp can make paper clothes fuel and probably rocket ships or probably not rocket ships but maybe could the atlanteans have harvest have <laughs> harvested could the Atlanteans have harnessed cannabis to fuel their machines or at least their daily productivity? Or am I just trying to retrofit a ancient myth with modern stoner science? I wonder if I smoke too much. That's why I end up going down these ridiculous walks. Here's a riddle for you. I'm long and thin, a fisher's delight with a twist of color to tempt a bite. Whatever. Am I suggesting the Atlanteans were running a whole civilization on weed? The way that we run on coffee and Wi-Fi? Would this even be a possibility? Or is it just like the boom being made of cheese? Just a ridiculous theory. The more I think about it, the less I know. But here we are. So let's uh start the walk. All right, let's kick this off with the Atlantean technical proudness. It's said that Atlanteans had incredible technical abilities. They may not have ran on cannabis but what about their culture what if cannabis wasn't just something they used for t utility but something that defined their entire way of life what if they held massive society-wide smoke circles achieving enlightenment through thc fuel meditation maybe they were like those stoners at parties that ask those ridiculous questions like are capris long shorts or short pants i don't know i wasn't there i'm just trying to piece together this thing with frankly zero evidence and a lot of imagination here's another riddle for you i travel in circles yet i never move i tighten the line and help you improve all right right was there an ancient atlantean bob marley figure strumming on the early version of a guitar and spreading the gospel of cannabis as a path to higher consciousness or am i let modern day stereotypes get in the way of seeing the, the what even is the truth at this point i'm genuinely confused but surely if Atlantis did have such cultural cannabis prominence, we would have heard about it, right? Or is it just one of those conspiracy theories no one took seriously back then? Like how people insist the moon landing was fake. All right, here's a thought. May make me regret this entire exercise. Could Atlantis have fallen because they got too greedy with their marijuana? Is this starting to sound like a cautionary tale? Did the Atlanteans go full emperor has no clothes? Except instead of clothes, it was over-harvesting cannabis fields. Maybe their downfall wasn't a literal flood, but a flood of bad decisions made in the haze of overconfidence. I'm starting to wonder if I'm just projecting here. Blunt getting small. I mean, I'm not running out of dank, but blunt is getting small. Here's a riddle for you. Though I live in water, I'm never wet. I pull your ketchup. I'm your best bet. What am I? Let's think about it, though. Could they have overplanted cannabis? thinking it was the key to all their prosperity, only to completely destroy their land, leading to natural disaster. It's like when you convince yourself you can eat a whole box of Taco Bell tacos and buy like the fourth taco, you realize you were in way over your head. Except in this case, instead of tacos, it's the entire civilization crumbling into the sea. All right, here's where I start to think if I'm doing too much. Could their obsession with cannabis have triggered the natural disasters 
that supposedly destroyed Atlantis. Were they all sitting around congratulating each other on how genius they were while the ocean slowly rose up around them? It's the kind of thing you could imagine in an ironic movie. We've mastered cannabis. What could possibly go wrong? Cut to a scene of an entire continent sinking beneath the waves. Is it possible or am I just one sentence away from filling this whole theory up with absurd claims acting like um i didn't try to piece this thing together coherently here's a riddle for you i'm held in your hand a cast far and wide reeling in treasures from the watery tide what am i seriously though what if they didn't even notice the warning signs they were too busy celebrating their perfect cannabis crop and by the time they realized their island was sinking it was too late what if that's what really happened it feels like i'm trying to connect the dots on a page that's not even in the same book Yet the idea won't leave my head. Am I high or just lost in my own bad logic? Or both? Probably both. Definitely both. At the end of this, right, I had to ask Was Atlantis really a marijuana based society? Is there even the tiniest shred of truth to this idea that their success and eventual downfall were tied to cannabis? Or is this just a high person flapping free full of speculative nonsense? I don't even know anymore. Maybe it's possible. Maybe I'm just desperately grasping for something profound that isn't there. But now I'm wondering, what if though? The answers to the riddle. Fishing reel, fishing lure, fishing hook, fishing rod. I'll see y'all on the next one, bro.